guys so I thought I'd do a quick review of what's happened to get us to this point right so I started off by picking up some schedule 40 structural steel pipe three inch inside diameter three and a half outside these are 21 foot sticks and I got seven of them all right so I brought them home and cut them up with the plasma torch okay then you go to Iron Ridge and you pick up all this uh, connector stuff like these uh, post caps rail connectors all the rails everything you need from Iron Ridge and started off with the first thing I do is I'll set up the back rail first okay now the back rail all you got to do is get it straight and parallel you know basically where you want it you can see that it's straight straight and parallel and that's all you really got to worry about okay scaffold it all up I got it set up pretty this is pretty tight this can't move too much and then I go ahead and I put a thousand pounds of concrete just to hold the bottoms in place so they're vertical perfectly vertical and they're all just tacked into place there so it can't move so once that back is in place then you can work on the front rail okay and again it's got to be straight and level but now it also has to be perfectly parallel to the back so this makes it a lot harder to do this part and that's why I like to have that back row fixed in place with the concrete so it's not moving around when I'm trying to get the front one in There's place. The distance between here and here is the same all the way across. So if you're straight and you're level and the distance is the same all the way across, then you're in pretty good shape. I'm taking a little extra time to get the end rails on and get them in the right position and I got them right where I want them then I stretch a string across the bottom and the rest of them I'll just line up to the string. Okay, so I've got all the rails in place. They're all straight. I've torqued everything down to spec. And now we're getting ready to put the panels on. So I stretched a string across here and marked it off four inches from the bottom. And I put these clamps on there. So now we can just take the panels and set them right in place. And the clamps will hold us there till we can get them bolted down. Thank you. 
All right, guys, check it out. Got the whole array up, went up nicely. Turned out pretty straight. I'm happy with it. You can't really see any wiggles or waves or anything. Anyways, uh, next up will be the combiner box and then we'll pull through and hook everything up. So I'm reusing the old ones. These are seven years old that I had for the roof mount system. Reusing everything. So I got two of them. I got to bring the wire up, split it off into the two boxes. Guys, I got these combiner boxes built up. Put them on a pressure treated plywood that I painted. Did all the plumbing and I went ahead and pulled this number eight wire through. This is the combined that goes into the power wall. So two circuits, one for each box. So next I'm gonna populate this with the breakers. it will be four breakers in each one. Then I can wire in all this um, combined wire for both of them. And then I think I'll wait on doing the power wall and maybe since it's going to be dark soon, I'll go ahead and wire in all this stuff while there's no power. Yeah, both of the combiner boxes wired up. DC positive, DC negative, and ground. Um, the surge protector and the breakers are all set to go. Both We're all ready. set. I'm going to leave the covers off for now. Um, we got the DC negative, the ground, ground, DC negative. And DC positive, DC I've got positive. voltage on all of my circuits. So I'm going to go ahead and switch those on. Notice that guy comes on. Boom, boom, boom. All right, guys, boom. so third time's a charm. It did boot up on the third try. I started three batteries at once. And that seemed to work. Looks like we're booted up. So the next thing I'm going to do is start the inverters and put some load on here. Oh, I hate that sound. The startup sound. Switch the output on. That turns on the three transfer switches. And we can switch. Let's break that while we're at it. Okay, now everything in this room is on the system now. We're pulling five amps. Yeah, it's looking good so far. It's about 11 a.m. and we're putting 36 amps into the battery now. It's gonna take a day for it to figure out what the state of charge is on that tank. 5,000 watts being burned in the house and you see we got 2,800 watts coming in on that panel and half of it on the other panel. I remember. Only half of this panel is hooked up because I'm waiting on some oil. So, this side is still very dirty. And this side is clean. Look at that, looks like new. So, we'll just wait for the sun to pop out here. Which could be a while. And then we'll see how it does. Okay, we got 352 to 384. Wow, 30, that's 300 watts. And I've only done half, so. We're gonna pick up 600 watts, like 250 to 600 probably in that range depending on how much sun is hitting the panels. Definitely worth cleaning. Okay guys, so in summary, if we look at the pros and cons of moving the solar off the roof onto the ground mount, I'd say the cons are that it's, uh, it doesn't look as nice in the side yard as it did with just the one panel and the coop. I think this is a bit much. Also, it was a little more expensive for the steel and some of the uh, mounting brackets and things, the concrete, I thought it was a little more than I had planned for. But uh, the advantages far outweigh. So I'm getting a lot more power out here. Uh, I get about 11,000 watts almost all day, whereas before I was getting blocked around one, 
2 o'clock in the afternoon by the trees. This just goes from morning till night, getting a ton more power. Um, it's They're more accessible. You can get to them and clean them. You can kind of see what's going on with them. So I really like that I made the switch. Plus, we just got a new metal roof put on. Uh, you'll be seeing that in upcoming videos. And there's really no way I'd want to put these panels back on that brand new metal roof. So anyway, guys, I think this has worked out well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.